Hi, welcome to another show of Russ on Flowers. I'm your host, Russ. And we're here in a studio to talk about Christmas flowers. It's around the corner, year went by fast. Today we're looking at doing a Christmas arrangement for you, single-sided. For those of you who are going to be arranging at home, Flower Buddy, great gift. Great way to learn how to arrange flowers and it will last a lifetime. Only one element needed and it's foam. Before we start talking about Flower Buddy, we'll talk about the flowers we're going to be using today. Brought these in from Russ Wholesale Flowers, Cushion Mums. This is how they're packed. So when they're coming from Russ Wholesale Flowers, they're coming in stems of five to seven. We have Celosia, Coxcombs, things are huge, right? They're also called Brains. <laughs> Love these, okay? We have Stock, great scent, great flower for you know, any spikes or fillers, whatever you want to use that for is awesome. Obviously our Freedom Rose is red. They come in packs of 25. This is how they'll be delivered to you. Okay. Lastly, we have mini carnations. These aren't so mini, but these are carnations. They're called mini carnations. They always come in stems, in packs of stems of 10. Okay. And because it's holiday season, I have white pine. It's not white, but that's what they call it. White pine, it comes in bundles. Sell that at Russ Wholesale Flowers too. And my favorite, Port Orford Cedar, okay? Flower Buddies, great concept. Again, it's great for a gift. We've done a number of shows on Flower Buddy. We had the uh, founder of Flower Buddy out a few shows back. It's good for those of you that have no clue on how to flower arrange, right? So there's three different elements. Comes in and it's packed very, very well. We'll send it to you just like this comes with foam, so you're going to have to replace the foam for each arrangement. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Okay, It's just a block of foam. They're cheap. They're under a dollar. Okay? Okay. You place it in the center of your tray, press it down, take your impression board, place it on the top of your foam, and push down. Okay. The flip side of this, this looks like an E, which it is. <laughs> place it in the si on the sides like so front like so, side like so, okay? Because it's one-sided, we're not doing the back, it's flat on the side, okay? So we're gonna start with our flowers. Start arranging this. Remember to use your measuring tape. <laughs> Remember to use your measuring tape because I've blown it and done this before and I haven't used my measuring tape. So, here is your A, right? Here is your A. When you're sinking your flowers here, you're going to sink them all the way in, okay? All the way down. So that's your water source at the bottom as well, okay? Although this absorbs it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Also, it'll hold it there tighter, secures it. Don't forget to put water in your tray when you're done, okay? So we're going to go here and we're going to pull a rose. We're going to put it on B and we're going to cut. Right? We're going to find our B. We're going to place it like so. Okay? And we're going to grab our slow shift, because that's what we wrote down we're going to use, uh, known as brains. And you cut them at the line. Bang. Right? That's a one. All right? Now we're going to stick the slow shift. You have some big, some big, big stems. Right? I'm going to tilt these a little bit forward, right? We have our stock. Two. Always fan your flowers a little bit. Okay? Again, on a slant, I'm going to use a mum. So we're here, All right? All right, so you, we're going in pairs of three here, right? On some of our primary flowers. And my four, there it is. Here's my four, okay? Yeah. Don't feel uh, like you can't turn your arrangement either to try to make it so 
you can manipulate your flowers a little bit. Those are my side flowers, my front flower. And there you have the beginning of your arrangement with Flower Buddy, okay? Now, it's all a matter of fill-in time, okay? It's all about filling in now. So we have our Port Orford Cedar, and I brought, uh, again, I brought some mini, mini callas to help fill in, okay? And so that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be filling in, tucking it in, tucking it in, tucking it in. And when you're designing this stuff, what you want to do is Duplicate your efforts, especially on the side, okay? When you're putting your side flowers in, make sure they're kind of slanted down. So when you're placing it in, place it towards the top so it's slanting down. So it's laying, basically it's like flush against the table, okay? You want to cover the container, okay? And don't throw anything away, you guys. Use your buds, use the flowers that you have, because it does give the, the arrangement some nice accents if you're using the buds. There's a ton of buds on mini carnations. It's really cool. So you're going to go around and use our mini carnations. It's, they're easy to break off, separate them, and cut them all at once. If you so desire, it's just easier to put into the foam. You don't necessarily have to cut, cut mini carnations. I'm just, I do it all the time, so it's easy to put in, put in the foam. Again, these are going to be pushed in the, towards the top to cover the plastic. Your mechanics, your mechanics, your mechanics. Make sure they're covered, right? All the time. <laughs> 